Hello guys, Reza here and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, I'll be responding to a couple of Patreon questions about my recent video on integrating characters from the sample project into your own environment. In that video, I used an existing character within the project and some of you asked about using a custom-made metahuman instead. That's exactly what we will be covering today. Let's get started. The first step, which is a prerequisite, is knowing how to create your metahuman. I will select Pia, one of the presets, and customize her hair and some of her clothing. Once finished, I will export the metahuman into Unreal Engine. Now let's switch to Unreal Engine and see how we can pick that up from there. Here I am inside Unreal Engine. If I go into MetaHuman now, we have the character Pia and we have Killen, uh, this guy right here, which comes with the sample project. All right, let's go to Blueprints and see how we can actually replace uh, this orangey looking guy with our own custom made MetaHuman. A common mistake I notice. Uh, students make is they go directly into this character blueprint sandbox character. Now remember all of these guys have been retargeted. They're actually kind of the children of the orangey looking guy. As a matter of fact if I go into retargeted character we see all of these guys as retargeted. So what you need to do especially for your meta human is to target retargeted blueprints instead, not the master. What I'm going to do in here, I'm going to target Killen, which already gives us a quote unquote template on MetaHuman, and that allows me to comfortably add or remove nodes, knowing that the main building blocks are actually coming from MetaHuman already, and there is no margin for error. So simply right click on it and duplicate it and name it whatever you want to name it. So in this case, I'm going to name it uh, character blueprint sandbox character Pia. Now this is going to be our target. This is the one that we are going to change to bring our custom made meta human into. So I'm going to open that. That is going to be my target. I'm going to dock that. Now we need a source and our source in this case is the metahuman that we actually copied and it also comes with character blueprint. So I'm going to double click on that and let this load. This is Pia that we customized successfully. I'm going to bring that one as my source. So rearranging these tabs the first one is our source. The first one is the one that I'm going to extract information from and send it to my target. The workaround, the workflow is fairly straightforward. It, it involves lots of rinse and repeat sort of tasks that you need to do. But once you understand why you're doing it and how you're doing it, it becomes extremely straightforward. So what you have is the body of the character. If I just jump out of the game mode, so everything becomes enabled, you can see each component. And by the way, in case if you're wondering how this was made, you go into skeletal mesh and you create one and each skeletal mesh comes with a source of mesh and material. So each one of these meshes have been properly named and that's why we are using also a template of Killen because the structure is almost identical and that allows us to use the same container to bring the information from Pia into our duplicated metahuman. In each one of them you can see you see the same amount of information. You see mesh, you see material, 
Some of these in faces, they come with groom as well, which you can see here. And all you need to do is to move them from here into here. There are a couple of ways of doing this. One is to remove this mesh from here and then copy, paste here. The issue with that is you need to go into the actual blueprint and add a few nodes here and there just to be able to make things to work. What I suggest is not to delete anything because you bring MetaHuman and assign it to another MetaHuman. Everything is there. You just need to swap the content. Let's see how it's done. And what I'm going to do now, I'm pretty much going to rinse and repeat for all of these components. So for the body, what I have in the source is FSRT body. What I'm going to do is just to click on this browse icon. And if you browse it in the icon, it actually is going to go through your hierarchy and it's going to find that node right there. You can see two hands, two feet. That's perfect. That's all you need to do. With that selected, you go into target and you select the same skeletal mesh. So in here, I'm selecting the body. In here, I'm also selecting the body. And all I need to do is to go in here and I'm going to assign. What it does, it's going to assign the selected mesh from the source into the target. Hope that makes sense. Let's do it one more time. Now I'm targeting the skeletal mesh body material. I'm going to reveal it in the content drawer. Let it be selected. With that selected, go to target, go to the same location, use selected asset from content browser. Click and that will assign. Look at that. The hands are Pia's hands now. Believe it or not, it's that simple. Let's practice it a couple more times. And when it comes to the groom, we have the bindings for the groom, which I need to mention. But for the torso, let's rinse and repeat. Torso in the target. And I'm going to pick torso in the source. Reveal it in the source. Been selected. I'm going to go into target. Assign. Doing the same thing for the material. Reveal it in the source. Assigning it in the target. See how simple that is. You don't need to remove anything. You don't need to deal with nodes. Uh, it's just very straightforward. What I'm going to do, I'm going to speed up the video and I'm going to do the rest until we get to the face. And then I will explain things a little bit. And then I speed up the process again. And we're pretty much done. Now we're on to the face. The only gotcha moment here is sometimes your duplicated character blueprint uh, may not get updated. So let's see if that happens here. So I'm in the face, selecting the face, revealing the face in the content drawer with that selected. I'm going to go in here and assign. As you can see, we're still getting Kalen's face. But if I compile, save, and open it one more time, actually, I'm going to close that. And let's reopen that. Remember, they all reside in the main blueprint, retargeted. And if I double click now, go into the viewport, you can see the face is now updated. The hair, the groom is now up in the air simply because of the binding that I was talking about. So the face looks correct and it brought all the materials with it as well. Let's go to hair because that's where it really shows how it works. I'm going to go 
face in my source and select hair and we have three materials to, um, to assign in here if I go and scroll down we also have three which is very convenient so I'm gonna go reveal in the source assign you can see the color changed reveal in the source assign in the target reveal in the source and assign in the target now these two are the ones that allow the hair to not only snap to the right position but also to follow the character so i'm going to zoom in here and i'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see that in action i'm going to reveal the groom asset in the source and then i'm going to go assign it and as soon as i assign it it attaches itself to the character for the binding asset which is also quite important i'm going to reveal that i don't think we have any binding for this character right here let's have a look yep none so i'm going to assign that and now you can see the hair is attached properly i'm going to go and do the same thing for the eyebrows and eyelashes and fuzz as for the mustache and the beard we really don't need them so i'm just going to go ahead and delete them i'm going to continue the exact same method and finish this character right here So, it's pretty much done. Now I have the exact same character. If I go up there and select the character, you can see we're getting exactly the same thing. Now, the question is, I have this Pia character. I'm going to close the source and that leaves me with the target, which is a retargeted object and you can find that in the blueprints retargeted pia now wouldn't that be nice to add that to our widgets in case if you would like to have that in the sample project well that's actually very straightforward too i'm gonna go all the way into widgets so the folder should be somewhere here i'm going to collapse everything into widgets and i'm going to go into game animation widget double click on it you can see this is the user interface that's been created i'm going to zoom in select any of these guys and duplicate i have the new widget and i have character blueprint sandbox character pia i'm going to compile i'm going to save and close and if i play the game now let's go into the widget and there i have pia i can select that the cool thing is now you know how to bring your custom character into the sample project and i've already covered how to bring a character from the sample project into your own environment just connect the two and this will fill all the gaps. That is it. I hope you found this video useful and use that in your own project. Until the next one, see you guys later and have a great rest of your day.